what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am so excited for today's video i'm gonna be talking about some assumptions that you guys gave me talking about if they're true or false getting a little bit personal i'm kind of nervous because i don't usually talk about a lot of these things i'm not that open about it on my socials so i'm excited to share it with you all see what you guys think i'm also going to be doing my makeup well, I already did my makeup, but you're going to see me do my makeup throughout the video. And full disclaimer, I have not done my makeup or a full face of it in so long, so it's kind of chaotic, but let's get started. All right, so the first thing I do is use a priming oil, and the first assumption we're gonna talk about, we're gonna start easy. Somebody assumed that I don't like basketball, I only do it so that I can see my friends. This could not be more false. I love the game of basketball. I've played it since I was little. It's like a huge passion of mine. The friends that I get from the sport are just a bonus, honestly. Like my best friends I've met through basketball and I'm so thankful for that. But I definitely play the sport because I love the sport, not because of the friends. The next thing I do is use a tinted moisturizer. This is ColourPop in the shade Medium 9W. Um, okay, and this assumption actually really made me laugh. It said you only date other Division One athletes. So, this is kind of true. I definitely do think I would have to date an athlete because I just couldn't, um, like I need someone who has a similar interest and who would wanna work out with me, go to the gym, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, while we're on the topic of dating, let's just go through those assumptions because there was a lot you guys really wanted to know about my romantic part of my life. Um, okay, so someone said I don't date white guys. That's the assumption. That's really false. I don't really have a type, especially when it comes to race. I have dated um, two white guys and one black guy, so really doesn't have anything to do with race. I am attracted to personality mainly. Somebody else assumed that I, <laughs> I struggle to date guys shorter than me. This is true. I don't date guys that are shorter than me. I personally just can't, I don't feel comfortable. The contour I use, this might be really weird, I'm sorry, but I use a foundation stick from Maybelline, like a really dark foundation stick to contour my face with. So I'm gonna use my mirror over here. Oh my gosh. But I go on it on my cheekbones. That was probably more than necessary, but you know, chiseled. The forehead, <laughs> a little bit of my jaw and my nose. Who is she? Okay, but another assumption that you guys asked about my dating life was you think that you want a boyfriend, but you just need to be loved by everyone in your life that's already there. So this is true and false. Um, I don't want a boyfriend, if I'm being completely honest. I really don't. I don't feel the need for one. At the point of my life that I'm in, it would feel like it is a distraction. So I do not want a boyfriend and I most certainly do not need one. But I also definitely do feel a need to be loved by people that are in my life. Um, I do really care what people think about me. It's probably something that I need to work on and not care about as much, but I can't really help it. Um, I do want to be liked and loved for the people that are in my life. And I think that that's okay. The next one was, you haven't been in many relationships because you're too good for a lot of guys. That was very direct. So I've been in three relationships. This is, you know, getting personal. I don't usually talk about this stuff, especially on my social media, but I've been in three relationships. Um, two were in high school, one was in college. And I don't know if that's a lot for some of you or not a lot for some of you, but I don't, I mean, I'm not too good for guys. That's not all the way that I see it. I'm just very, very picky. So it takes a lot for me to like someone and to want to be in a relationship with them. I have like high standards, whatnot. Um, blending this out. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this NARS cream, oh my gosh, cream, bro cool. cream blush that I got for my birthday last year. This is definitely the most expensive product I have, but it is amazing. Um, I just put a little bit on my hand and then I use a brush to blend it out. Okay, so we have a couple more assumptions about my dating and romantic life. Also, I love blush. Don't judge me, I put a lot of it on. Okay, so somebody said you have strong commitment issues. Also trust the process on this. I know it looks like a lot, but it, it'll absorb and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I do not have commitment issues. I have no problem committing to something or someone. I don't think I have trust issues either. I just don't trust people very well naturally, but I don't think that's an issue. <laughs> Anything I think it's a good trait to have. I'm not naturally trusting. It takes me a lot to like 
want to trust someone in my life um, to let them fully in. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this bronzer by Maybelline. I've literally used it so much, it is broken and falling apart, but it's fine. We're gonna do a little bit around my nose, a little bit around my face. We like to be tan. We pretend that we're tan anyways. But okay, last one is that somebody said you get hit on by every guy that you meet. This is false. I don't know what kind of vibe I portray, but that is not true. Um, like obviously I have gotten, gotten hit on before. Um, I think all girls have, but it's not by every guy I meet. Um, I'm definitely not everyone's cup of tea. And I know that I'm a lot, I'm a loud personality. I'm really tall. Um, I'm not like other girls. No, I'm, I'm not gonna say that because I'm very basic in some ways. But um, yeah, so I don't get hit on by every guy that I meet. Some guys, really not that many. Probably, according to this comment, a lot less than you would think. All right, we have one more about like relationships and whatnot. I'm gonna be putting on some more blush, but somebody said, you are a player. The only thing that I play is basketball. Oh, All right, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But actually though, I'm not a player. I, let me not get heated right now. I hate liars, I hate cheaters. I think it's disgusting. Um, Players are just like, walk away. Bye Felicia, do not be a part of my life. <sighs> it's, I'm very, very opinionated on the subject. I'm not a player, I tell it to you straight up. I would never lie to my significant other. Um, there's no point if I don't want to be with you, let's just break up, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna play you, I'm not gonna be talking to other people. Point blank, period. All right, let's move away from that topic because clearly it was getting very personal. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with some highlight. This is the Wet n Wild. Highlighter in the, where my nose is In the shade Mega Glow, something like that. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, let's say um you you have an amazing outlook on life and a great relationship with God. This is true, and this assumption made my entire week. Um, I think that I am able to have a great outlook on life because of my relationship with God. I so firmly believe that. Um, he has a plan for all of us and oh my gosh, look at that highlight! That kind of allows me to have a peace in my life um, when I go through adversity and through obstacles because I know that like somehow this is part of his plan and it's either going to benefit me or benefit the people in my life or teach me something and make me a better person and that's just like, I don't know. Um, it's comforting and it's, it's really powerful to think that like he cares that much about all of us to have that big of a plan. Um, for all of us. There's a quote um, by Albert Einstein that's like, there's two ways to live your life. One is though everything is a miracle and one is though nothing is a miracle. And I believe and live my life that everything is a miracle. And I think that the smallest thing from some one of you watching this video right now and hearing me talk about my passion for the Lord, like that's a miracle. Like that kind of stuff for me, I don't know. It's just things that you can't explain are miracles. All right, this is the Elf Wow Brow thingy for my brows. I don't want to do much with my brows, but. All right, another assumption was you don't like to do much other than basketball. False. I actually have a lot of passions outside of the game. Um, do I get to do a ton of much? I mean, do I get to do? That did not make sense. Do I get to do a lot outside of basketball? Not usually. <laughs> because of how busy we are and how demanding the sport is, but I still love things. Like, I love doing makeup even though I don't do that much. I love playing music um, and like guitar and piano. I love hanging out with friends. I love nature. Oh my gosh, I love going on hikes, seeing sunsets and sunrises are my favorite things in the world. But again, I don't get to do that much just because of basketball. Um, but I do like to do more than basketball. It's not just basketball. Um, okay, someone said you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family because of basketball practice. This is, um, sorry, a Maybelline eyeliner thing. I don't know, I used it a while ago. Sorry, I'm gonna put my hand on the camera while I do the under eyes. I only put um, eyeliner under my eyes because I have like smaller eyes and it like... <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family because of practice. This is true, especially... I'm like scared to talk while I do this. But especially with COVID, we're not... We're very limited in how much we can see our families. 
let's address um, the assumption that I'm a daddy's girl and loves to spend his money. <laughs> Gosh, if this is what I portray, I apologize, guys, because I don't think that that's who I am. Um, I'm definitely a daddy's girl. Like, I'm really, really close to my dad. He is my hero, everything that I want in a future husband. But I don't love to spend his money. I'm on a full scholarship to um, Penn State, so he's not spending a dime. They don't send me money. That's, um, I use my stipend. So that's not true. I mean, I guess it's not true because I am a daddy's girl, but I don't love to spend his money. And let's see what else. Um, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is my holy, like my favorite part of my makeup routine is this. It is heavily on the face. It blends all of everything together. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm gonna use a lot. I'm gonna look a little, a little dewy for a second, but just bear with me here. Probably look so dumb doing this. I told you I used a lot, but it'll all absorb and it'll look good. So while we let that absorb. Um, someone assumed you get very competitive over little things. Ding, ding, ding. This is so, so true. I am ultra competitive. Some people probably think I'm crazy. Like I was that like girl in middle school gym class who was like really intense and wanted to win everything that we did. And all the other girls were like rolling their shorts and spraying perfume. And we're like, this chick is psycho. So yeah, that was me. I'm really competitive. I can't really help it. It's just kind of like who I am. My entire family is that way. All right, I'm gonna use this highlighter again to put some, ooh, I just blew that. So sorry. But to put some highlight on my inner corner, I love, I think I just myself. But I love doing that. I think it's so cute. Um, and definitely brings out the eyes a little bit, so I do that. Okay, so someone assumes you have an addiction to Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Okay, I have an addiction to coffee. It really doesn't matter where it's from. If I had to pick one place to get my coffee from, very sorry, Duncan, it would be Starbucks. I think Starbucks is 100% superior. Someone else said, um, as I grab my mascara, that I prefer cold drinks over hot drinks. This is also Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and I'm sorry if I look like an idiot while I put it on. So, hot drinks, cold drinks. Um, Every morning I wake up and I have a cup of hot coffee. I make it in my little Keurig, put some creamer in it. And so because of that, because I have a hot cup every morning, whenever I do go to Dunkin' or go to Starbucks, I will always get cold because I don't have cold at home and I don't make cold at home. So I'm just gonna like buy that when I'm out. And it's more like fun and like an experience, which is usually why I get coffee when I'm out. So I don't really prefer either or. All right, now we're gonna go in with some lip stuff. This is the NYX lip liner in shade Canes. I don't know, but it's pink and it's pretty and it's kind of nude. Um, okay, somebody said you are always hungry. True, if you know me, I love food. I eat all the time, talk about it all the time. I love food. Another one was you like country music. Also true, but I can't do this one talking, especially in the summertime. Sorry, I cannot talk about doing liner. But I love I love country. Love love love. Okay. Um you never get moody. False. I am a very moody person. I am so sorry to burst this bubble. But I can get moody. I can get a little angry, some sass in there. Um yeah. But I can also get really moody, like happy. I can get really bubbly and happy out of nowhere. Buxom, however you say that. And then McKenna got this for me for my birthday, actually. It's a clear gloss. That's supposed to be a little bit of plumping power to it. So, um, yeah, you like was you like almond milk? I think that's one I just said. But I do love almond milk. I am not dairy free at all, but I do drink almond milk over regular milk. I like that in my cereal. I have almond milk creamer instead of regular creamer. I just think it tastes better. I just really, really like it. Oh, I do want to talk about this one. This one kind of hurt my feelings. You only care about yourself. If this is the impression that I give off on social media, then I apologize because this is not who I am or who I want to be in any way, shape, or form. I don't know, a lot of people ask me like, what do you think your purpose is in life? Like, what's your number one goal? And my answer has always been to have a positive influence on the lives of people around me. So 
you know, in my mind, in order to do that, you have to care about others and not just yourself. Um, I also have, I wanted to show you guys, this is um, a child um, that I sponsor. Her name is Marone. She is absolutely beautiful. She's from Ethiopia. Um, I sponsor her through Compassion International for um, about a year and a half now. And she's really close to my heart. My end goal one day will be to be able to fly over to Africa and meet her um, and meet her family and just see what her life is like. That's something that's really important to me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do really care about others and um, hopefully you guys can see that the more that you get to know me. <laughs> okay, so that is my makeup and all of the assumptions for you guys. Um, I literally feel like a different person when I have a full face. I don't really wear a full face a lot. Um, only when I'm like going out or something really special, maybe a holiday, whatever it might be. But yeah, so there it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe.